This is Tom Dupuy with Online Media Masters, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a keyword list for your SEO. So the first step I do when creating a list is basically figure out are we targeting a small town, are we targeting a large city, or are we doing national keywords. And the difference is if we're an Apple, Apple store in a small town called Lake Bluff, then the people searching for keywords related to Apple Repair and MacBook Pro Repair, there's not going to be a lot of them. So we're going to have a lower search volume, and the lower the search volume, the broader the phrase. So small towns are going to have broad phrases like Apple Repair or Lake Bluff Apple Repair. And the number of keywords is going to be low. For large cities, since there's a larger search volume, the phrases are going to be more specific. So instead of just targeting Chicago Apple Repair, we'll also have more specific phrases like Chicago MacBook Pro Laptop Repair. And the number of keywords is going to grow since there's a higher search volume. <clears throat> as far as national keywords, they're going to be also be very specific. There's going to be a, a much larger pool um, of phrases that people are searching. So we want, we want to get really specific if we're doing national keywords. And the number of keywords is going to be high in our keyword list. So I'll show you how to find these phrases. I'll start with a small town. If we're an Apple repair store in Lake Bluff, we would basically just go to google.com and type in Lake Bluff Apple and we can see the Lake Bluff Apple Repair shows up right here. So that would be a good primary keyword um, since it's a general service we provide. But now let's do Chicago Lake Bluff MacBook Repair and nothing shows up there. Or what about iPad Repair? So you might see this if Google Autofill shows some of the phrase there's some people searching for it, but not a lot. We're better off just targeting a phrase that shows up in full in Google Autocomplete. So all we would need to do is play around with Autocomplete for our different products and services and figure out what people are searching for in Lake Bluff. Now let's move to a larger city like Chicago. We'll do Chicago Apple repair. So we can see that people are searching for this general phrase. We can even use Chicago Apple computer repair. But what about our more specific phrases like MacBook Pro repair? So we see that shows up. Um, one technique that is very valuable that not a lot of people know about but it definitely helps is if you Google um, your keyword and do a fill in the blank method, you can actually see that Google fills in the blank with MacBook Pro Screen Repair Chicago, MacBook Pro Air Repair Chicago, and this can help you get um, more keyword ideas to add to your list. So it's just a matter of playing around with the fill in the blank method as well as the complete the phrase method and play around with your different products and services that you offer and figure out what people are searching. So now let's do national keywords. So like I said, the national keywords, there's going to be a higher search volume and our phrases are going to be more specific. So while we can target MacBook Pro laptop repair, I can basically already assume that this is a very competitive keyword since there's tons of other websites out there targeting this. So we can add this to the keyword list, but we also want to target more specific phrases like MacBook Pro. We'll do the fill in the blank method. And then we can see MacBook Pro logic board repair, water damage, uh, screen, charger, hinge, keyboard, liquid damage and we can get more ideas like from, from that method. So it's really the specific phrases like MacBook Pro Hinge Repair that you have a really good opportunity for ranking for, but these have lower search volume, so you might wanna, rank, you might wanna target something 
that's going to bring you more traffic to your site, like Mapa Pro water damage repair. So this might give you a list of a lot of keywords, and um, then you got to figure out you you should be targeting all these phrases for maximum traffic, but it might be a very long list of phrases. So uh, then the next step would be to research which which of those phrases provide the best opportunity to rank for. And a good way to start with that is by looking at the keyword competition. <laughs> so here's a graphic I made. Um, I use the example how to get out of debt. So a little judgment um, tells me that I really don't have to Google this to know that that's going to be a competitive keyword. There's going to be a lot of uh, big websites competing for it, like credit.com, um, time.com, and whenever you see those large authority websites in the top results, you might want to avoid um, competing with them for that keyword. And here's some other indicators like extended listings right here or the amount of results that show up or if there's really strong content for that phrase or if you google how to get out of debt and then all the results are they exactly match your query so they basically all talk about how to get out of debt so there's some indicators of keyword competition, and you can Google each of your keywords and look at the search results to get an idea of this. And this can clue you in on the competitive landscape of your phrases. So the question becomes, if, if how to get out of debt is too competitive, what do you do? Well, you use Google Autocomplete and you select a more specific long tail phrase, like how to get out of debt without bankruptcy. So if you do find a keyword that's too competitive, just go more specific. The last thing I want to go over is a tool called HubShot Web Grader, where you can run any website through here and view their entire keyword list. So you could use this for your competitors to see what phrases they rank for, and then you can get ideas to add to your own keyword list. It also give you some helpful data like domain authority and Moz rank and links and things like that. But once it's done running, you're going to see a C full keyword list link. And once you click that, it will generate the entire list of phrases that that website ranks for. And here they are. And if you're on the screen, you can also type in three other competitors which will compare your keyword list. So this is a really good tool to get ideas to build on um, your phrases from Google Autocomplete. And that's really it as far as creating a keyword list. Just write down each of your products and services like the MacBook Pro and then create a mini keyword list for that. So your, your entire keyword list is basically going to be organized by um, your products and services. So like this, you'll have Chicago MacBook Pro repair, and then you'll have all the keywords that list um, phrases related to the MacBook Pro, like water damage or screen repair. And then you'll have the MacBook Air, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad mini, etc. So that's really it. If you have any questions, then leave me a comment. Otherwise, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful.